Your vehicle is going to be an extremely important tool when trying to be a survivor in a world where unimaginable chaos has taken over. Motorcycles have many advantages to them and each one is different. Trying to find the right one to suit your needs on various categories will lead to making it to your outpost in a remote area or to the next town to find supplies. Whether it's superbikes that can compete in Grand Prix races to bikes that allow for some storage, here are the most insane motorcycles for the zombie apocalypse. Number 11, BMW R9T. The zombie apocalypse has broken out and taking a motorcycle seems like one of the best options for making it out of town alive. Survivors would be hoping they got the right bike or one of these BMW R9Ts somewhere in their garage. This somewhat retro style motorbike resembles those that were produced in the 1970s and 80s but with the modern engines it needs in order to escape hordes of zombies. With the quality and reliability of German engineering, this bike can take you a long way if you need to. Fully loaded with fuel, the entire bike only weighs 483 pounds and can average 42.1 miles per gallon. Spitting out 96.6 horsepower with an air-cooled engine, it's a good place to start. It's unclear how well it would do off-road, but we're sure if you put the right tires on it, it should be just fine. You mostly want to use this bike if you're trying to weave your way through traffic so you can get to your hideout in a hurry. Number 10. Kawasaki Ninja This motorbike has been praised for its performance on the racetrack and by ninjas across the globe. Built by Kawasaki, this company can either build a really small car or a really fast motorbike. Top speed on this vehicle can reach about 240 miles per hour, making it able to outrun basically any car or any zombie making a dash for your brains. Ninjas might be a little bit more for experienced riders, but due to the quick acceleration, it's a good way to start even if you haven't taken out a sports bike yet. Japanese motorbikes are praised for their excellent gas mileage and is equipped with a 17-liter fuel tank. In comparison to American or German competition, the Kawasaki Ninja can pump out at least 54 miles per gallon, which is pretty high. You might not need to max out the speed all the time, but it's good to have a little extra quickness in your fleet if you need it. But don't be afraid to go full throttle and feel free to pack a few extra ninja swords along with you for the journey. Number 9. Aprilia The ladies in Italy would go crazy to see you driving one of these and it's one of the biggest manufacturers of motorbikes and scooters in Italy. Many popular sports bikes have come from this country and the company was founded 73 years ago at the end of World War II. The riders of these bikes have had quite a bit of success in racing championships throughout history, which means it should be able to escape from zombies pretty well. Sales of these bikes began to increase about 10 years ago to the US and drivers are beginning to discover why it's a top choice in motocross and Grand Prix road racing. Mini bikes by Aprilia are optimized for racing, which means at the sacrifice of comfort before an increase in speed, acceleration, braking and handling. Comfort must be spared from time to time during the zombie apocalypse, there's no doubt about it. But with this bike, you should be able to make a quick escape to the next city where you can hopefully retain some comfort. Also one of the more expensive options on this list, you might have to save a little bit with the new one going for about 60000 each. Number 8. The BMW R75 During the 1930s, BMW began producing a large amount of motorcycles, especially the ones with sidecars, in order to make it more comfortable for a passenger. Although one of the advantages of taking a motorcycle with you would be to weave through traffic, you're sacrificing a little bit of speed for a lot of space. Most motorcycles might not have enough room to comfortably fit two people, or even worse, your zombie attack weapons. The advantage of having the extra seat is undeniable and maybe you can find a sidecar that's pretty slim. The person in the front seat can possibly man a machine gun or be a lookout for the undead. It also has a huge advantage in case you get a flat tire which is a big setback normally for those choosing motorcycles during the zombie apocalypse. Having the extra pair of wheels plus your spare should really help out in case you make contact with something. Since this was built for the military, it should have no problem going off road either. Find one of these equipped with an MG42 and you got yourself a high quality zombie fighting machine. Number 7. Honda Goldwing Considered by many to be the top touring motorcycle, this bike has what you need to make it across the country with all your brains. It was first introduced in 1975 with the intention of guys and gals riding in style. But as time went by, more and more customers wanted upgrades with GPS, heated grips and the cozy comfort you want from touring bikes. Not only that, they're one of only a few bikes with airbags in case you wreck it somehow. 
Don't forget about the 125 horsepower this ride is capable of. The Golden Wing isn't going to offer the speed that other sports bikes have on this list, but you'll have plenty of storage for your equipment or to store gasoline. The top quality suspension should also allow you to have a pretty smooth ride from start to finish. Number 6. Harley Davidson Electroglide Harley Davidsons have been prized by many biker gangs across the country for their fine mechanics, speed, and the sound of the purring engine. Almost like modern day Calvary, Harleys can cruise in formation and multiple riders at a time would seemingly be able to put up a good fight against aggressive looters or zombies. You might be able to fit a passenger on the back depending on the model. A good one to go with if you're planning to pull off a distant getaway would be the Harley Davidson Electroglide. Although it might not look quite as badass as some other Harleys you're accustomed to seeing, this one will prevail over others in different categories of comfort, storage space, GPS capabilities, and a windshield to keep the flies out of your face. Various attachments can be fitted for the passenger or a member of your zombie apocalypse survival squad to remain comfortable on long journeys. This one here can also fit a sidecar which can make this thing fit a total of three people. Police have even been known to use this model as a patrol vehicle. Although getting some comfort during the zombie apocalypse may be difficult, bikers might be switching over to something like this in order to make it across the country. Number 5. BMW R1 200 This is not some average bike you just pull out of the garage every once in a while. It's a lean mean motorbiking machine that will serve you right during the zombie apocalypse. The first BMW we put on our list was just kind of a warm up starter BMW, but what we got here is nothing short of a powerful beast. It has a total of 125 horsepower and a 400 mile range, making it perfect to navigate through windy mountain passages. It's been proven as a powerful adventure vehicle and has been battle tested in various off-road scenarios. ABS, traction control, and the suspension seems to be its strong points while hitting a max speed of over 130 miles per hour. With its premier handling, it's easy to see how you can dodge incoming zombies with a flick of a wrist. Number 4. Suzuki V-Strom Ranking high in the affordability category, the Suzuki V-Strom might be all you need to take on a proper escape. Only selling for $12,999, it stands apart quite a bit from the BMWs or Harleys on this list. All you really have to do for this one is switch on some off-road tires and you got yourself a formidable escape vehicle in case of an emergency. You will, however, have less horsepower and torque, but it's been proven as a versatile hog in various scenarios. Newcomers have praised it for its simplicity to drive and variety of features. Just like some pricier options on this list, it's fitted with heated handles and seating, fog lights, and various saddlebags. If you have a pickup truck as well, this thing is pretty light to carry around, only weighing a couple hundred pounds in some cases. Number 3. Ducati Multistrada 1200 This masterpiece of Italian engineering will become a rare species during the zombie apocalypse and possibly sought after by various looters during the apocalypse. Priced at a total of 23G, it has a high price tag for its lightweight design with plenty of horsepower. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't fork over the cash during the zombie apocalypse. Just remember, you have one life and you need to try to save it as best as possible. If you go on the website, you can clearly tell it's up for the challenge of exploring the wilderness and for storing various equipment. Prided on comfort and design, the Ducati Multistrada is a favorite vehicle among off-roaders in Europe and can handle various challenges you might come across. Number 2. Dodge Tomahawk V10 Okay, so this one likely isn't for sale, but it's cool enough to make our list. It was designed as an illegal street vehicle, but who's enforcing the law during the zombie apocalypse anyways? With the V10, it easily beats out all motorcycles on this list with 500 horsepower and could theoretically hit a max speed of 400 miles per hour. But no one has yet to do that. The components are all custom built from aluminum and will likely not fail. If somehow you were able to get the keys to this half a million dollar beast, you'd be okay when the zombies are roaming the world. And number one, the Super Duke 1290. This Super Duke bike is manufactured in the country of Austria and it features an unbelievably powerful engine for its class. In fact, it's the most powerful LC8 engine ever produced by Super Duke with 170 horsepower. It's known for being even lighter than many Japanese motorbikes, weighing in at only 430 pounds. Be careful though, some of the newer models can hit 177 horsepower and are prone to wheelies when wheelie mode is off. The website boasts that it's pure and to the point and basically everything you're looking for in a racing bike. With various dirt bike tires available, any KTM motorbike will likely be customized for your zombie apocalypse survival plans. 
The price, though, for the 2017 evil-looking Super Duke 1290 will go for around $17,000.